one. Looking forward to seeing you all back on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. On Tuesday we've got year two, year four, year six starting and on Wednesday we'll have everyone back apart from Foundation Stage 2 and Foundation Stage 1 because they will be having their transition sessions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through <coughs> excuse me, of the entrances and show you a few first few classrooms, show you how the children are having lunch and hopefully that will reassure you with your children returning to school. So let's go. On uh, each morning the children will be coming at their separate times. Year three and four can walk down this channel here. No cars are being used. Any disabled uh, drivers have been asked to park in the manor house. Um, and so the car park will not be, have any moving cars in it. So if year three and four can use this um, channel and everyone else this channel. So off we go. You'll notice that on the floor there are yellow arrows. This is because everyone will be coming through the Compton Road entrance and exiting through the Hayworth Road entrance. We've got our um, safety poster. There'll be a lot of people arriving at the same time, so it's parental responsibility to try and keep two metres apart between everybody. And also we ask that all parents are wearing face masks when they drop off their children, unless you have a medical condition, which means you're unable to. So, just cut across here. So, as year three, four come down, they will ex enter and exit through the gate here. On, uh, there'll be staff on the gates and on Tuesday and Wednesday children will be directed to their classrooms because obviously we know they haven't had an opportunity to visit their classrooms because of um, the lockdown last term. So year three and four will be dropped and picked up here, picked up here. There will not be opportunities to speak to teachers. That's why we've kept the um, year group emails in place. So if you've got anything um, that you want to, any worries, concerns that you want to let the teachers know, please use that. And if you've got anything urgent that needs to be told to the um, teachers, please can you email or ring the office for that. Once you've dropped your children off from here, you will continue on your route round to Hayworth Road. Year five, six children will use this entrance. Obviously, they are coming at two different times, and the class teaches one class teacher. So one class will be here, one class teacher here, and the children will be sent up to their class because there'll be no mixing of bubbles. So although, although the year group is coming at the same time, once they are at school, there will be no mixing of those class bubbles. I'm going to take you through the junior playground into one of the year three classrooms so you can see how a junior classroom is set up. Um, all the classrooms in the juniors, whether three, four, five and six, are set, are set up in the same way. The tables are forward facing um, and the staff within the class will remain um, the same so there's no mixing of bubbles. The class is still a work in progress. So as you can see all the tables are forward facing and there's spaces um, for staff to be able to come and work with the children. We've also got for each classroom in the juniors, there are screens, so where teachers are working with children, a screen can be put between, so to protect both pupils and staff. In the early years in Key Stage 1, we've also got movable screens on wheels because obviously, uh, particularly in the foundation stage, there's not a lot of table work, there's lots of interaction around the classroom. Oh, sorry, each year group in the um, juniors has a t set of toilets to use their timetables, so there'll be no mixing of class bubbles. So, uh, for example, this class in year three will have timings when they use the toilet and next door will. If the children need the toilet in the meantime, a teaching assistant will check that there's no other children in there and the premises team will be cleaning throughout the day. So. I'm going to take you now down into the junior hall so you can see how uh, lunch times will be. 
key stage two children will eat in their classrooms. They will be the tables will be cleaned before eating, and they will eat at the table where they work where they work. Hot meals will be delivered in bags to them in kind of takeaway uh, bags at the moment until we know our numbers and it may be after that that we start using the studio but at the moment the safest way um, to kind of get the food to the children and ensure that there are no bubbles mixing is to um, have those meals delivered to the classroom. In key stage one and early years it's going to work slightly differently. So we've got hand sanitizer stations when the children enter and exit so that we know their hands will be clean and tables will be wiped between class bubbles. So the hall is set up at the moment with two, almost two sets of tables. The front two rows will be one class from the year group and the back two rows are another class um, for the same year group and they are all two metres, the spacing is two metres or more between the two classes so the bubbles won't mix. When the children come in, they'll hand sanitise, they will sit down at their table and their hot dinner will be delivered to them by the lunchtime supervisor that is attached to that class. They will not be get, um, going up to the hatch to get served um, and they also won't be wearing their uh, wristbands, but lunchtime supervisors will have lists of um, which children are having which meal because there are only going to be two options initially to ensure that we can get the food out to them safely um, and ensure that we can keep up with our, um, sun, our cleaning regime. So all tables and chairs will be cleaned thoroughly before the next year group come in with two class bubbles. I'm going to take you back out through the section and then we'll continue the walk around the Hayworth Road. If you wish to see the office, come into the office, we ask that you don't do that, that unless it's an absolute emergency without notifying them first. So you can either email or ring the office to make an appointment. And if you are coming into school, that we ask that, like I asked, um, said that parents need to wear face marks um, dropping off children, we would um, appreciate the same um, when you come in to speak to the reception or meet with the teacher. raining for the rest of our video. How pleasant. <laughs> so when you come down from here, then you'll follow the yellow arrows, which unfortunately have, are being washed away as we speak, but they will be resprayed. And follow round to the past the garden area. We've still got some signs up, but we're certainly stage one playground. As a key stage two parent, if you've dropped your children off, then you will just follow the yellow arrows and exit onto Hayworth Road. And as I mentioned in my letter, we're asking that year five and six pupils, where possible, enter and exit the school site on their own. Um, key stage one children, um, when they come round, the teachers will be at the door. On Tuesday and Wednesday, there'll be staff to show them to their classroom. The doors will be open and children will enter the class straight away. Um, you can see that we've got cross hatching across the playground because there are staggered uh, breaks and lunch times for all children. And so when year one has their um, break, one class will, will play on one side of the hatching and the other class um, this side. And then year twos will come out. And in the juniors, we've got four play zones. So we will have year three and four out for break time at the same time but they will be in their class bubbles and year five and six afterwards and each class has a set of uh, playtime equipment that will come out at break and lunch time that will be cleaned after use. So once you've dropped your child off we ask that you don't stay and chat with other parents. I know that potentially you haven't seen them for a long time but um, we need to exit the school site as quickly as possible so that we can manage the flow of parents and children safely. Um, so for, this is obviously where Key Stage 1 will line up, for EYFS when they start, 
the two trusses will line up at separate doors, but that will be explained at transition. And for chestnut children, you will use the garden area. For, for chestnut drop off and pick up, there will be slightly different procedures, but that will be explained to you during your transition meeting. And once you have dropped or picked up your children, then you will exit down the alleyway onto Hayworth Road. Please be particularly careful when you're leaving onto um, through the alleyway because obviously that's quite an enclosed space. So we need to, you know, as we've asked, keep as um, close to the two metres social distancing as possible. But please be reassured, we've put everything in place um, for your children. They will remain as class bubbles and, and outside of those class bubbles they will be social distancing. Right, I think that's everything. If you've got any other questions or anything that you want clarifying, please don't hesitate to contact the office and we will see you back next week. Bye.